Hey, what's shaking everybody? Luke Dancy is here back with you. Every single week we are bringing you brand new magic releases and brand new magic giveaways. Tonight I got a great giveaway for you. You have your choice of any of our top six downloads from 2020. That's right. If you win, you get your choice of one of these. You can pick any one that you want. These are from our top six from last week that I did with Bro Gilbert. You have your choice of Deception. You could choose the drop down, a really cool ambitious card thing. Card goes up and down in the deck. It looks crazy. You got the monster switch, which is just like eye candy with deck of cards. You won't believe what you could do. Uh, the three card Monty from Henry Evans. Uh, it'll fool the crap out of you. It is impossible. And it has fooled a lot of big names of magic. You also have the evolution project. Great for virtual magic. These, you know, zoom shows you're doing. This is perfect for that. And last but not least, we have Bander Action, which is a uh, full collection of rubber band magic. So our giveaway this week is any one of those for you guys out there. All you need to do is drop a like and comment on this video, and you have your choice of any one of those. We'll announce our winners next week. So I figured this week, instead of just telling you what you have a chance to win, I'm going to give you a chance to pick what you want to win. So do it to it, my friends. Good luck, good luck, and good luck. All right. Uh, we have fire this week. There is so much hot stuff this week, right? There's some great magic coming your way. I'm very excited to show you some of this. But first, let's keep the fire going. Let's keep the fun going. I've got winners from last week. These are the people that picked up some free magic. Talking about this guy first from YouTube. Rodrigo Espinosa. Rodrigo, congrats to you, my friend, on picking up some free magic. I'll tell you guys what he won in just a second because first... Got to tell you about this guy from Facebook, our winner, Keith Douglas Alstrom. Congrats to you, Mr. Keith. Uh, these are both of our winners from last week. Uh, if you guys don't know, if you're new here, we do giveaways every single Tuesday, 8 p.m. Eastern time. I do these live videos for you guys here on Facebook and YouTube, and these are our winners from last week. You're probably asking yourself, Luke, that's great, but what did they win? Well, this is a good piece of magic a lot of people are talking about. They both just picked up a free copy of Colorful. Uh, the crazy visual thing lets you have cards change, you know, appear, disappear. Extremely visual stuff here that's great, as you can see, for live performances. Uh, not only that, though, it's as perfect, as you would guess, for social media uh, as well. So that is what both of those guys just won. Two free copies of Colorful going out the door to those guys. And uh, really cool here, guys. Even though it's super visual and you might think you know what's going on, there are no flaps and the gimmicks come pre-made. So if you like the look of, look of it, you can still pick it up for your favorite magic shop. But if you're one of those two lucky winners, make sure to drop us an email, social at murphysmagic.com to claim your prize. We'll get those out the door and over to you. So congrats again to our winners. All right, good stuff, good stuff. Um, so got a lot of love for some of those downloads that are up for grabs. We've got the Evolution Project. Got some love from Steven out there. Uh, John is digging on the rubber band stuff. Uh, Bander Action is a great project of rubber band stuff. Mark's just all about the fire. I, I am too today, Mark. There's a lot of great stuff to show you. I've got your first preview. I've got two previews for you this week. Um, the second one I haven't even really watched yet. I thought we might do it like together. Uh, but yes, lots and lots of fire this week for you guys. So hope you're ready. Uh, and I know that I saw some of my friends on YouTube also saying they were fired up for Taco Tuesday. So if you guys are grabbing your tacos this week, make sure to throw them back. I am without tacos this week. I don't have any tacos. Um, but if you're enjoying them, let me know what kind of taco you're having tonight. Sometimes I join in. Sometimes, like tonight, I, I don't. So tonight, no tacos for this guy. What about you guys? All right. Uh, uh, can I show clips of the downloads? Um, actually, I, I did a full best of 2020 downloads last week with Bro Gilbert. I can put the link below this that has a collection of all those downloads. I'll put that in the description of the video after this, okay? I will do that for you. Uh, Thomas couldn't wait. He went ahead and bought Colorful. So he was like, yeah, give it to me. Give it to me. Just, just give it to me now. All right. So uh, can't wait to hear what you think of that, Mr. Thomas. All right. Uh, and as Maddie says, no flap November. <laughs> there you go, man. I know people think, oh, it must be flaps. Not this time. Not this time. All right. Uh, so Rodrigo, our winner out there has tacos. So good stuff. And congrats again, Rodrigo on being last week's winner. You picked up colorful and you can enjoy that maybe while you eat some tacos. I don't know. <laughs> so previews coming your way. Your first one, this is coming up on Friday. This is a very unique piece of magic. This is something that I don't think I've ever seen before. It's magic with music. 
a little music box action going on here. Um, so check this out. This is really a different style of magic that I think you're going to enjoy, but it's not highly visual stuff. It doesn't fool you visually, but it fools you with your senses, with the ears. So check this out. This is called Music Box, your preview. The full trailer comes out on Friday at 3 p.m. But here you go, my friends, your first look right now. Music is one of the most powerful art forms that we have. Now imagine when we combine it with magic. I'm Gustavo Sereno and this is Music Box. Music Box brings a whole new experience to your spectators. You show a pack of cards with different songs written on and ask a spectator to pick one. You introduce a strip of paper and ask them to think on the selected song. You start punching some holes on the strip and then you insert it on the music box and the song that they are thinking will play. You will also be able to turn a random song into the selected one. And there you have it. That is Music Box. Uh, this comes from Gustavo Sorrento. I think I'm saying that right. Uh, and very different type of magic here. I know you guys are a lot of times looking for the visual stuff. Like I said before, this one's for the audio, the senses up there. Uh, it does come in a, um, a more premium version, as you kind of saw there in the trailer, or the classic version. So anyway, this is coming up on Friday, 3 p.m. Eastern Time. Keep an eye out for this and an ear out for this. Uh, that is Music Box. So there you go. All right, all right. That is your first preview tonight. Like I said, I've got another preview, something I haven't even watched myself. Um, so let's get to that in just a moment. Um, but first, let me take a look at my list. I got some other fun stuff to tell you about that's just come back in stock as well. So why don't we do what we always do, my friends. Let's jump on over to the Murphy's Magic website for just a moment. Just a moment. Just a moment here. Uh, there's a couple quick things I'm going to tell you about. Back in stock number one. And I've got like three of these to show you. Um, and then I have another really cool visual piece of magic with fire. So if you like fire magic, don't go anywhere. All right. Uh, this is one that I know you guys are uh, going to be very excited about if you've never got your hands on it before. Uh, I'm just going through the list here. of These are our back in stock things. So I'm just going through my list real quick. Uh, here it is. A book. If you know me, you know I love books. Uh, this is from the master, the maestro. Juan Tamaris. This is his five points book. Uh, this is not just a book about magic tricks. It's about ways to use psychology, body misdirection, body language to cover the actions as you perform. Juan Tamaris is a modern master, a legend. Uh, you can see a quote from some of the who's who in magic. Um, but the really cool thing is, is you can see here uh, the five points. What does this cover? The five points of magic, the eyes, the voice, the hands, the feet, and the body. And there are things in here like the crossing the gaze switch, which a lot of people use in a lot of different ways, uh, among other things. So there's a lot of great stuff in here. Check out the ad copy from your favorite magic shop. You can read all about what's on here. Too much to tell you here. Um, but I'm very excited for you guys to know about this one, um, the five points uh, in magic from Juan Tamari. So this just got back in stock today. So it is available from your favorite magic shops. You guys are going to love that if you've never checked it out before or any of Juan Tam Reese's work, you're in for a treat. So check that out from your favorite magic shop. All right, cool. Uh, let's see. Um, how much for music box? That is a good question. I can look that up for you. I'll look it up for you in just a minute. Um, I don't have the price right here in front of me, but I'll look it up for you. Okay. Uh, let's see. Can you replay the music box later? Yeah, I'll, I'll do it one more time in just a little bit. Absolutely, Jacob. So don't go anywhere. All right. I'll be more than happy to do that for you. All right. So uh, we are going to move right along here. Don't forget, we are doing our giveaway. Just joining us uh, this week. You have six different downloads to choose from. You can choose your favorite. So uh, to enter, make sure to drop a like and comment on this video. And if you're joining us for the first time, my name is Luke Dancy. Once again, I'm joining you from Las Vegas, Nevada, out here in the desert. Uh, and uh, I work with Murphy's Magic both as a magician is a creator of magic and also is a magic consultant. I've been around magic for 30 plus years now. I love the stuff, if you can't tell. 
And I'm always happy to be here with you guys every Tuesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern time. So if you're out there in your new face, welcome. And let me know where you're from. It's always good to meet some new people out there. And to some of our old friends, uh, it's great to see you guys out there. Congrats to one of our regular viewers again, Mr. Rodrigo, on being last week's YouTube winner. So congrats, my friend. Congrats, congrats. All right. Uh, I will look up that info in just a minute, but why don't we take a break real quick, guys? You know what's coming. I'm going to bring you our What's Crazy segment, uh, and I'll look up the price on the music box while that's playing. This is not magic you're about to see, but it looks magical. This is beautiful. It is mesmerizing. It is just crazy, and that's why it's guys this week. Get ready for What's Crazy. That is some crazy, crazy stuff. Again, I know it's not magic, guys. I get it. I, I know it's not magic. But if that doesn't look magical to you, I don't know what does. Uh, that is just beautiful stuff. The skill that's required to do that uh, is, is amazing, too. Um, the guy that is performing in that, I want to give him some love. His name is Victor uh, Moisev. Moisev. M-O-I-S-E-E-V. Moisev. I think that's how you pronounce it. I think he's Russian or Ukrainian. Uh, so Victor Moisev performing some crazy visuals there, had even a little bit of lean action in the middle, which is kind of fun. Um, but have any of you guys seen something like this done live? I want to. And if you have, let me know what you thought about it. Um, but yeah, that is part of our, what's crazy segment this week. I thought you might enjoy that. Let's move right along with the rest of our show. But that my friends is, and was it's crazy this week. All right, so we are moving right along tonight. Uh, I know there were questions questions out there about the music box that we were just taking a look at a moment ago. Uh, let me pop back over here, music box, there I am. Uh, again, this is dropping on Friday, 3 p.m. Eastern time, so you can come back and watch the full trailer then. Um, there are two different versions of the music box. Uh, the premium version uh, is gonna cost $90. So that one is $90, and I will actually pop over here so you can see it. Uh, that is the premium version right there and it has uh, kind of like a nicer look to it right here. You can see the, the premium version right here. Uh, and then there is also a standard version and that one is $60. So $60 for that. Um, looks like it is the same pictures. I'm not sure. Oh, no, it's not. It's not the same picture. So there you go. That is the music box dropping on Friday. So I know a couple questions out there about it. Want to look those up for you. Um, and there you go. All right. So we are moving right along tonight. Lots of great stuff to show you. Um, let's see. We got Mr. McMahon checking in from Connecticut. What about the rest of you guys? Where are you watching this tonight from? Where are you out there in the world? Now we have an international crew that tunes in. So, yeah. Uh, Mr. Cedric Luke has the best double lift on his at the table. Oh, thanks, Cedric. Yeah, I did go over my uh, push-off double lift on my at the table lecture. Um I, I enjoyed working on that and, and practicing that. So thanks for the love. I appreciate it. Uh, Daniel wants to know, is that juggling real? It is all kinds of real. Uh, I mean, I've actually seen videos, uh, I think, of that guy, Victor, doing it on one of those talent shows, like, you know, the Got Talent. Um, so yeah, you can totally uh, do what you just saw live, I'm sure, in a controlled situation. But uh, yeah. Uh, Jacob says, I'm wanting to do a virtual live show and I want to add an intro into my video. How do I do that? 
uh are you talking about magic or tech <laughs> two different things two two different things uh peter out there from massachusetts peter was one of our winners last week from uh, facebook uh, he picked up a free copy of punched so peter have you got your copy of punched in the mail yet because you were the winner uh ralph's joining us out there from arkansas all right nice to see you out there ralph all right uh and the trickster my buddy out there he received his cards he got his cards in the mail i know he lives I think, I think my friend, you're in Malaysia, if I'm not mistaken. So all the way on the other side of the world from California, where the Murphy's Warehouse is, all the way to Malaysia. He got his cards. He got his, his giveaway prize, which reminds me, a lot of people ask, Luke, are the giveaways that you guys do every week just for people in the States? And obviously, with the winner in Malaysia, no. We have worldwide winners. So just because you don't live in the States doesn't mean you can't win, okay? So I want to mention that. Let's do something fun now. Let's do something fun. Uh, let's watch something that is coming out on Thursday that is fire. Now, the reason I'm bringing up the fire thing again, Bro Gilbert has told me to watch out for this one. He's telling me that it's great. It's it's going to melt my brain, but I haven't watched it. I pulled it into my system. I have an idea what this is, but I haven't watched it. So I thought it might be fun to give you a preview together with me. We're going to watch this together for the first time. Um, I brought in something called Wing. This is going to be on the vault on Thursday. So Thursday at 3 p.m. Eastern time. Let's watch it right now. Are you guys down? Here we go. Your exclusive look again at another preview that you won't see until Thursday. So here it comes. It's called Wing. So we got a card and a sharp. Okay, he had a Sharpie and a card. Now he's got a, a Sharpie. Hold on. So we got the... Yo. Oh, that's cool. Color change. Okay, that's pretty dope. All right. Let's see. All right. So we got a card size. Okay. Yep. Back in the deck. What's going on now? A little. Hey, oh, 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 okay. That looks great. All right. That looks really cool. I like this, that you can cause it to literally change from, oh, well, damn, the money too. Okay. This is fun. All right. <laughs> I'm not, I got to say, I'm, I'm not surprised that it's good, but I didn't know it was going to be this good. Whoa. That looks really cool. I am really digging on that. Uh, so that's Wing uh, from Aid Ramhat. I think that's how you pronounce it. Rob Aid Ramhat. Um, damn, that looks cool. I actually kind of want to watch some of that again. That was, uh, that was <laughs> the visuals. Some of that stuff's like, well, wait a second. Like, because in my mind, I'm thinking, okay, the the vanish. Okay, I have a kind of an idea. Uh, but some of these changes, it's like. Well, Technically, I'm, I'm trying to figure this out. So let me let me bring it back one more time. Let me bring it back one more time. Uh, so uh, we'll play it again because why not? Why not? So again, this is dropping on Thursday, guys. Keep an eye out for this called Wing. Uh, that's what I like. And the color change looks great. Man, that looks good. Wow. All right. Uh, let me look at the thing here. That looks great, man. Okay. All right. Uh, and I think Jacob stole the words out of my mouth. That's badass. I know, right? It's pretty sweet. <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, I know everyone right now is, unfortunately, you know, most of your shows have to be virtual. So why not add some eye candy? And this certainly uh, seems to do the trick there. So, wow, that does look really good. All right. So, um, Mr. Mayo, what's up, buddy? Good to see you. He says that looks pretty sweet, actually, too. I know, right? Uh, so there you go. Uh, I'm going to look at the price real quick for you guys. You know, why don't we hop on over together to the site? And again, this is not released. This isn't out until Thursday. I'm giving you the first look. It's 10 bucks. Um, uh, perfect tool for visual transformations, uh, color changing decks, playing card to money, live and social media, easy to build, easy to perform. Okay. So this must be a DIY thing. Uh, so 10 bucks, uh, coming up on the vault on Thursday. So, wow. That was pretty awesome. So uh, good job, bro, on finding that fire. <laughs> uh, Daniel's asking, how much DIY? I don't know yet. I haven't even, I had, I had not even seen this before I showed it to you guys. So I'll have to do a little more digging. Hopefully I have some more answers for you on Thursday when this comes out. So there you go. That's wing. That's really cool. All right. Uh, again, another reminder, guys, we are doing our giveaway this week. If you are just popping on. Um, this week, instead of me telling you what you have a chance to win, you get to tell me what you want to win, okay? 
Uh, we've got these downloads. These are from our top six that we did last week with Bro Gilbert. You can choose any one of these, but all you need to do is the same thing is to like and comment on the video you're watching right now for your chance to win. So you can choose from Bander Action. You can choose from the Evolution Project. You can choose from the Three Card Monty from Henry Evans, which is a classic. Uh, the Monster Switch, which if you haven't seen the visuals on this, do yourself a favor after this and watch it. It looks great. Drop down, more highly visual card magic, an uh, ambitious card routine. The card goes up and down in the deck. Beautiful stuff. Uh, and Deception. So these were Bro Gilbert's top six downloads from the vault in 2020. And I thought, you know what? It might be fun to let you guys get your hands on one of those. So we have a winner coming up next week from Facebook and from YouTube. So make sure that you enter right now for your chance to win. And I will announce those winners uh, next week. So good luck to you guys out there. Okay. All right. Uh, let me see what else is going on. I got a lot more to show you. So don't go anywhere. How about more fire? The theme tonight is fire. Magic that's on fire. I just showed you something that was great. Uh, highly visual. Melting the old brain. Uh, this is another one, actually. I'm going to come over here back to the website. Uh, I just saw this pop up today. And, and I saw it. And I'm like, I got to show the guys. I got to show the guys this. So I'm going to come back over here for you guys right now. This is called Brand of Fire. Brand of Fire. It does come in blue or red. 25 bucks, you can see there. Um, and here is a look at the packaging. So basically, uh, more magic with fire coming at you right here. Uh, you know, you can see the reactions on their face. People are surprised when you do stuff like this. I'm going to show you the trailer right now. If you haven't seen this yet, uh, this is a very visual and fun piece of magic. I know you're going to love it. It's a card trick, um, but I've got it queued up for you. So kick back for just a moment and let's watch together. Brand of And there you have it, guys. Uh, if you haven't seen it yet, this was just added, I believe, today or yesterday uh, to our website. Uh, that is called Brand of Fire. The price is right on this, 25 bucks. It reminds me of the uh, In a Flash release years ago from Jay Sankey, but of course, with a totally different revelation here. Instead of a coin burning its way down through a deck, you actually have the deck burning itself to reveal the card, uh, which I think is pretty rad. So um, this is something I wanted to show you guys here. Again, it does come in blue or red. Obviously, the gimmicks are you know here. Um, so choose wisely, whatever one you want. Make sure you pick the right one. Um, I will tell you that um, uh, in blue, it is the two of hearts. So if you if you like blue, you're going to get the two of hearts as your revelation. Um, if you prefer uh, the red deck, the red deck, the red gimmicks you're going to get. I guess it's not a deck. The red gimmicks you're going to get um, would be seven of diamonds. So if you choose the red version, seven of diamonds. If you choose the blue version, you're going to get the two of hearts. So I just want to give you a heads up uh, on that. Okay, so there you go. That is called uh, Brand of Fire. Uh, Daniel's digging on that. Love this brand of fire. And all right, that's some good looking stuff. Very cool. Uh, Scott's also digging on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, let's see. Hot reveal. Yes, yes, sir. A very hot reveal. <laughs> uh, so we're just breezing right along today, guys. Lots of great stuff to show you. Got a few more things, so don't go anywhere just yet. Got a few more things. And if you haven't yet, make sure to enter our giveaway this week. Um, to enter, it's very easy. Just make sure to drop a like and comment on this video. If you are watching on YouTube, make sure to drop the comment underneath the video's description after the live is over. Um, that is where we get our winners from, just so you know, on YouTube, okay? So there you go. Uh, I'm now going to look at my list again. Some other stuff back in stock I want you guys to know about. 
Uh, dun, 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 dun. Yes, 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 yes. This is great. I'm going to pull this up quick on my computer. And I am super stoked to let you know this is back in stock. Um, this is from one of the best guys in the biz. Super creative, super cool, uh, and, and very humble guy. Uh, I'm talking about the one and only Mr. Richard Sanders. Uh, this is called Any Card. Uh, I know this came out a while back, um, but the good news is it is officially now back in stock. Uh, if you haven't seen this, basically, uh, it is almost like an updated version of the invisible deck, but don't stop there. Let's not stop there. Literally, someone names any card that they want, any card. You go to the deck and you take out the four aces one at a time. Um, and you, you hand these four aces to the spectator, uh, or you just put them on the table. And when you uh, turn over the cards, as you can see, there's writing on the back of the cards and the writing on the back of each card pretty much spells out what the named card just was. So these aces are face up, mind you, from a face down deck. So they name any card, spread to the deck. There's a face up ace, you take it out. Another face up ace, you take it out. Another face up ace, you take it out. And another one. Uh, and on the back of the card, spell out the name named so that is uh any card from richard sanders officially back in stock 40 bucks today from your favorite magic shop uh it is super good super cool and who doesn't love richard sanders let's be honest richard sanders is the man so yes all right uh here there might be a little bit of lag out there i'm doing my best guys it is tech we are streaming all over the world so if there is a little bit of lag, I do apologize. Not much I can do about it on my side, but we will truck along. We will we will get through this. We'll get through this. All right. Uh, another thing that just got back in stock since we're talking about visual stuff. Uh, let me find this. I know you guys like the visual stuff. I know you like the fire. I know you like the, the good stuff. Uh, let me see. This is back in stock officially now. Uh, the Liberty Vanished, this is the postcard version only, only. Uh, this is from Masuda, and I've seen a lot of people do this online, uh, and a lot of other people have wanted to get it, um, but this version does just come with the postcard and not the little mini figure uh, of the Lady Liberty, the Statue of Liberty. So if you haven't seen this before, uh, or you don't know the name, you probably recognize the trick. So basically, you've got a postcard with the Statue of Liberty on it, you, know, you can talk about David Copperfield back in the day making the Statue of Liberty vanish. You're going to try to do it, but in a smaller way. And you can take the postcard and make the Statue of Liberty vanish from the postcard, just like that in the video. Uh, seems to be a favorite for a lot of people online. You can flick the card as you just saw, or you can just give it a little shake. Um, you can also uh, produce the little miniature uh, Statue of Liberty if you want. But again, this, this version I'm showing you right now, uh, that is not included with it. Uh, so this is 30 bucks. And from what I from what I've heard from a lot of people, this does come with um, the gimmick ready to use. You don't have to make anything here. It's a very clever uh, thing. So the visuals kind of speak for themselves. Great for virtual shows, Zoom shows, social media, uh, any of that fun stuff that you're up to. Uh, Thirty bucks isn't too bad either. So there you go. Uh, Liberty Vanish, Asuda, back in stock for you. So hit up your favorite magic shop to grab that today or tomorrow. You can't wait till tomorrow. It's totally up to you. <laughs> All right. Uh, and I had one other thing. So I showed you that. I showed you that. All right. Uh, a couple other quick things that popped up that I thought you might be interested in because I know you guys are always looking for the good stuff. Uh, back on our website here, this just popped up uh, earlier. Uh, I think these popped up yesterday. These are the playing cards to go along with the Andy Gladwin book, The Boy Who Cried Magic. Uh, these are the playing cards sold separately. Now, I, I believe uh, when the book first came out, some editions came with the book and the deck. Some of them just came with the book. Uh, so if you weren't able to get the, probably, you know, the nicer version, the collector's edition or whatever, now you can just buy the deck of cards by itself. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, the backs kind of match the vibe of the book. So these are officially available. I think there were only 2,500 made. Uh, so this kind of goes along with the book from Andy Gladwin. So I want to give those a mention, 12 bucks uh, from your favorite magic shop. Uh, and they are printed. Uh, da, 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 where are those printed from? Uh, Cardamonde. Yes, I was looking for Cardamonde Slamline Stock. 
with the B9 finish. So if you are a deck collector, or if you like to play in guards, I know there's a lot of you out there that do. Another deck to pick up. <laughs> there you go. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, speaking of deck stuff, this has been quietly crushing it. I know I gave you the preview last week. This is the expert at the Classic Pass from Akira Fuji. Man, this dude has got a pass to drool over. This guy's pass is crazy. If you haven't seen it yet, it is on pre-order right now. Um, this is beautiful. Uh, who's who of quotes, David Williamson, Bill Malone, uh, the late great Paul Cummins, uh, here Pan Ong, and on and on and on. So um, if you haven't yet, check this out too. If you like card magic, you like moves, you're a move monkey like me, uh, check out the expert at the Classic Pass from Kira Fuji. Uh, beautiful stuff. All right. Uh, da, 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 da. What are we doing out there? The Illusion Master tutorials and videos. What's up? How are we doing? <laughs> it's a long name. Uh, honestly, the figure has nothing to the effect. The postcard is fine. I agree, Hungry. I'm talking about the uh, postcard thing from Masuda, the Liberty Vanish. I agree. Just do it with the postcard and you're done. I totally agree. Uh, right. Uh, da, 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 da. And what else was there to show you? This just came out. I saw this earlier and I'm like, the guys might actually kind of dig on this because why, why, why? He uses fire. <laughs> and I know you guys like fire. And what I'm about to show you is only $20. So the price is right, as Bob Barker would say. The price is right. Um, this is the watch lighter. So if you've ever wanted to be able to light your flash paper or a flash product without using a lighter, you know, just a regular lighter, uh, this is something now that you can do. You know, make sure that's muted. Uh, with a watch is your device. Now, I would probably do this inconspicuously. I know he kind of does it openly some of these times. I don't know if he's doing it to show you this on video, but I would not just tap this to my wrist. I would do it in a presentational kind of way. Um, but that was kind of cool, like a device you can wear on you. Uh, it's not going to produce smoke like the John Miranda watch, but if you want to ignite some fire at a moment's notice, well, this will let you do it. Uh, so I'll give you a little look at the watch in just a second. Uh, definitely not a smart watch. It's nothing like that, uh, but kind of a cool thing. It looks like it just slides to get to the access point where the uh, uh, probably the coil area is. Uh, so that is the watch lighter. Uh, I don't know what he's going to do here. He's going always oh, going to freaking torch. Good God! All right, dude, be careful. Be careful, dude. What are you doing? Yeah, be careful. All right, all right. He's got a, he's got a cane now. He's safe. He's safe with the, with the cane. So here's what the watch looks like. Might not be for everybody. I get it, but it is a watch that allows you to create fire. And everyone loves fire. So there you go. Uh, and again, it looks like it just slides back and forth. Uh, a cool way to um, produce some flash paper and make the fire happen. So yeah, great for stage, close up and walk around. So there you go. Uh, da, 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 da. So there you go. That is the watch lighter. All right. Uh, and there was one other thing, one other thing. I'm just trying to zip along here. Uh, dun, 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 dun. This, this, this. No, you already know about that. Uh, wow, this just popped in. This was this is actually news to me. Uh, it looks like we just got stock of the Denny Haney book, The Collected Wisdom, from Scott Alexander. He's been working on this for a while. Now, I know what you're thinking, Luke. Is that right? 500? It is right. Uh, I don't know if this is the deluxe edition, the collected edition, or I haven't looked at this yet. I literally just saw this, but, uh, you know, the, the legacy of Denny Haney will live on not only through a, great, a lot of great stories, uh, and, you know, other things that he's released in the past, but a collected works book now from Denny Haney, uh, put together by one of his students, uh, Scott Alexander. I know Puck also worked on it with him and some other people. Uh, but this looks like it has now arrived the, uh, collected wisdom of Denny Haney. So, uh, if you are a collector, if you are a true student of the art, I know you're going to find uh, this on your shelf. And again, I don't know if this is the price of the regular one and the deluxe. I'm not too sure. And it looks like Michael Mayo says, thank you, Michael. That's the deluxe. So that's why. Okay. So there is a cheaper version without the extras. Uh, I don't know if we're going to carry that or not, but I just saw this and Denny Haney was a great in our industry. So I had to talk about it because... Yeah, he was a giant <laughs> in our industry. So, yeah. 
Uh, and Mayo says, I'm grabbing that. Yeah, I'm not surprised, Mr. Michael Mayo, you collector of magic and other fun stuff. <laughs> uh, I also did want to, you know, because we're going down memory lane here real quick, guys. You know, Denny Haney, unfortunately, is no longer with us. And with that said, uh, we've also lost, you know, some greats, some really big names in magic recently. Um, we lost Siegfried now, Siegfried uh, Fischbacher, the other half of the Siegfried and Roy duo. Uh, Siegfried passed away last week. We want to send our condolences, of course, to the family and friends. And, of course, our thoughts go out to the rest of the magic community, too. You know, that's a huge loss. You know, now we've lost both of them. We lost them both. You know, first it was Roy, who the virus, you know, got him. And now Siegfried, who seemed to have had a, a run with cancer quietly. He kind of struggled with that quietly from what has come out. So uh, we definitely want to send our thoughts to uh, the family and friends of, of Siegfried. And the loss of both of them, that's pretty big shoes to fill. But you got you to gotta admit, you know, they paved the way for magicians in Vegas. You know, I live in Vegas and I see the strip with all these magicians. They're the ones that made it possible for magicians to have a show on the strip dedicated just to magic, not just one part of a show. A magician would come out, but a full blown show. Um, so the, the memory of Siegfried and Roy will live on forever, but we definitely will miss Siegfried and Roy, of course. Um, you know, it's hard for me to handle that, but then just like a day or two later, we lost David Roth, you know, another just true giant of the industry. Uh, he inspired magicians all over the world. Coin magic. You guys know what I'm talking about. A whole generation of magicians learned uh, and did coin magic thanks to David Roth. You know, one of the most creative uh, guys, you know, the, the contributions to coin magic, the, the different plots that he created with coin magic were so creative and so different that coin magic had never seen that before so if you're interested in learning and taking your coin magic up a notch check out his book the collected works uh of, of david roth um beautiful stuff and if, if you want to take a moment to really honor the legacy of david roth hop on youtube after this pull up some of his classic routines like the tuning fork if you've never seen the tuning fork do that right after this. It is one of the most magical coin tricks. You've ever, it's not a trick. It's the be most beautiful coin routines you will ever see. And I'm, I'm sad I never got to see it live. Um, there was that. He also had some great, <laughs> the globe. He's got a great trick called the globe. There's another one called the sleeve or sleeves. Um, and I used to perform his, his classic one coin routine uh, as well. So I don't want to ramble too long, but when you lose big people like this, I think it's important to put a big spotlight on them because that's a big freaking hole to fill now that we have. Um, and I want to say one other quick thing with the loss of more and more magicians. And I know we also just lost Joe Porper. That one kind of caught me by surprise too. I want to send out our thoughts and love to Joe Porper's family in France too. Um, you know, the Porper clips and all that good stuff, just another giant. Um, but as we continue to lose these guys, it is up to us more and more. It is our responsibility to keep the integrity and the love and the art of magic alive. You don't have to be doing what a lot of other people are doing, like on YouTube where I'm at now or Facebook, where you're just revealing magic secrets. Just because you see people doing stuff doesn't mean you have to do it too, and it doesn't make it right. We the whole community has a responsibility to keep the integrity alive. And it's just as much your responsibility as is mine. And as we lose more of these guys, that responsibility becomes even greater on us. So try to do your part if you can. Okay. All right. So uh, sad stuff, but it's also a good reminder to appreciate and respect the people that we still have left with us, those masters. We can't forget about them. Um, and you shouldn't forget about them as well. Okay. So, yeah, we want to send out our thoughts to all the people affected, uh, you know, recently, the loss of all these people. So, you know, we don't just talk about tricks here. We also talk about real stuff, the, the real stuff that goes on out there. So, uh, yeah, I uh, had someone asking me a moment ago or if, God, not a moment ago. It's been a while now. If I would show the video for the music box again, I'll show it to you real quick. This preview is coming out uh, for you right now, but the full trailer comes out on Friday at 3 p.m. Eastern time. So I'm going to show you this. This is your first look or two, if you were here earlier. Uh, music box, a very different kind of piece of magic. Here you go. Mm -hmm. 
Music is one of the most powerful art forms that we have. Now imagine when we combine it with magic. I'm Gustavo Sereno and this is Music Box. Music Box brings a whole new experience to your spectators. You show a pack of cards with different songs written on and ask a spectator to pick one. You introduce a strip of paper and ask them to think on the selected song. You start punching some holes on the strip and then you insert it on the music box and the song that they are thinking will play. You will also be able to turn a random song into the selected one. There you go. By request, I gave you your preview for the second time tonight. Number two, Music Box. Check it out. Full trailer drops on Friday right here, whether you're watching on Facebook or YouTube at 3 p.m. Eastern time. So go back and get it then. All right. Uh, also, we were taking a look at this earlier, your preview for this. This is Wing. This is coming out on Thursday on The Vault. It's going to be a download, digital download. Uh, you can see the visuals on this. Super cool. Uh, 10 bucks. this one. Uh, seems to be a do-it-yourselfer, so you know. Um, you can do this not only with cards, but you can also cause the card to change into money, as you'll see in just a second. So uh, this is your preview for that. Uh, this does come up on Thursday, not Friday, but Thursday. So there you go. Check it out. Here comes the part, I think, with the money right about. Dun, 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 dun. Now, there you go. So very cool. There you go. That is, again, uh, dun, 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 dun. that is wing. So keep an eye out for that on Thursday. Come back right here, and you will see it. All right, you dig? Cool. Uh, Chris wants to know dun, dun, video for top 10 tricks 2020. That is 100% coming your way on Saturday of this week. Uh, I got bogged down with stuff last week. I actually had some technical issues, not gonna lie to you. Had some issues with the audio and the video syncing up, so I had to just scrap the whole thing. I'm gonna do it again. But I will do it for you this week, and it'll be done, and uh, it will be good. So don't you don't you worry. I didn't forget. Uh, you guys know how it is sometimes. Things just get goofy and uh, we will bring it to you later this week. Okay. So there you go. Uh, dun, dun. taking music box on AGT. Hey man, do it to it. Hell yeah. Do that, man. That'd be awesome. Very cool. Uh, wing looks great. Yeah, it does. It's a good. Good looking piece of magic. No doubt. Good stuff. Um, all right. Wasn't it going to be about downloads? So Rodrigo, we did the best of downloads last week. Uh, my, my system I used to stream out to both platforms, Facebook and YouTube was goofy last week. It wasn't really working a whole lot. It wasn't my issue. It was on their end. So I only streamed that to Facebook. So the best of 2020 downloads is on Facebook if you want to watch it. Um, but the top 10 tricks from 2020 will be on Facebook and YouTube coming up this weekend. So stay tuned. Sorry about the delay on that. I know. Six. Six. Um... Let's see. You mentioned Bro Gilbert earlier. Could you please ask him to consider releasing another round of D3? Hey, I'll bring it up, man. Why not? It couldn't hurt. I will definitely mention it to him. Uh, you know, I talked to Bro last week, and I will definitely bring that up because it is a great trick. Great, great stuff from Bro. So, yeah. How uh, we doing out there? Nice to have you here. First timer. How we doing? Good to have you with us. Hope it is not your last. Good to see you out there. We are going over lots of magic this week. Uh, and for any of the latecomers coming up, I do have a giveaway this week. I'm going to give it to you one more time, just so no one else misses it out there. You guys have a chance to win one of six downloads this week. It's your choice, okay? You get to pick. Uh, make sure to like and comment on the video you're watching right now to be entered. You can win Deception, okay? You can win the drop down. Uh, I mentioned earlier, this is like an ambitious card, sign card. It goes up and down in the deck. Uh, the monster switch just you can do all kinds of crazy stuff with this it just looks too good for me to even try to tell you what it looks like so check it out uh we also have the three card monty from henry evans up for grabs uh the evolution project great magic for zoom shows virtual shows and bander action so these six downloads you have your choice of any one of these to win if we pick you as the winner and don't forget we pick winners on facebook and youtube so if you would like to enter twice i'm not telling you not to uh, head on over to our Facebook page and YouTube channel and comment and like on both and you're entered 
two times, double trouble. So we will uh, let you pick your favorite from that. These were bros top six that I just showed you from 2020. So I thought I'd give you guys a chance to grab one of those as well. So there you go, do it to it. All right, uh, let me look one more time at my list and then I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. Uh, so I showed you earlier our winners from Colorful. Congrats again to Rodrigo Espinosa. Rodrigo, congrats, my friend. And Keith Douglas Alster, Alstrom, excuse me, over on Facebook. Uh, Music Box does come out on Friday. Don't forget about that. Uh, Brand of Fire, check it out if you're into some cool visual magic with Maya. Maya. Check out Brand of Fire. It's pretty dope. There is also the Watch Lighter. More fire, more fire. <laughs> Uh, and then also Five Points in Magic, Back in Stock, Juan Tamarisa's classic book, Back in Stock, as well as Any Card from Richard Sanders, kick-ass piece of magic, and also the Liberty Vanish, the postcard where the Statue of Liberty vanishes visually. That is also Back in Stock. So all that stuff is available now from your favorite magic shop um, out there. So do it to it. Get your hands on the stuff. Um, let's see. Uh, congrats to all. Uh, Maddie, no problemo. I am here to help. That's what I try to do every week for you guys. So there you go. All right. So with that said, I think I'm going to start to wrap this up. I want to say thank you to everyone for hanging out with us this week. A lot of good questions. Hope it helped you out. Um, and as always, if you have any other further questions, don't forget you can uh, throw a comment out there. I always look through them, try to answer as many as I can. Um, and if you uh, were one of our winners, once again, don't forget to drop me an email, uh, social at murphysmagic.com to claim your prize. Uh, if you're one of our two winners from last week. So be sure to do that, okay? So that is it. I will catch you guys tomorrow afternoon. If you want to hang out, 3 p.m. Eastern time, um, I have got John Bing, the creator of Triple Helix, joining me live uh, right here on YouTube and Facebook. Um, and I also will have Eric popping on as well. Eric, known as Snake. He's the guy that created uh, Twister Flavor and a couple other beautiful pieces of magic. He's going to join me as well. So John Bing and Eric from Toomey Magic joining me tomorrow afternoon at 3 p.m. Eastern time. So pop by, stop, say hello. Uh, Triple Helix has been the trick everyone's talking about. Um, so I've seen a few people uh, got their orders in and patiently waiting for their Triple Helix to, to come in. So uh, John Bing will be live with me, a new, a new face on the scene. And I'm sure you'll be hearing a lot more about him as time goes on. So um, yeah, Triple Helix chat tomorrow it's gonna to be cool so that's it guys uh thank you again for hanging out hope you guys are staying safe and, and doing okay out there i hope this helped you out if it did show some support the likes do help gets the algorithm all excited and lets people know that this video uh they should watch it too so do do me some love out there if you can show me a little love too so that is it take care everybody let me change one quick thing you guys know what's coming and I will catch you all tomorrow for john bing and if you're not there i'll see you next week i do go live right here every single tuesday night 8 p.m. Eastern time. I hope to see you again. But in the meantime, stay cool. Stay cool, everybody. See ya.